there's two ways to think about this. First off, Jim mentioned this. We are the largest contributor to open source. IBM is. And so when people say, geez, do we embrace it? We have embraced it for 20 years. As you guys know, one of the fastest growing projects in Linux Foundation is Hyperledger for blockchain. And so that idea that we are going to continue to appropriately put into the Red Hat, Red Hat Linux enterprise everything that should be there. And so Jim, Jim knows that this has been, we think this is part of the value of what we offer. So it's both really being the champion of open source out there with the two combined companies. Yeah, just to emphasize that again, for us to be able as Red Hat and open source to achieve our full potential, this is without a, uh, a doubt the best way to do it. It gives us a dramatically broader reach. It gives us a dramatically larger platform. It gives us dramatically greater investment into open source and, and what we can do. And so uh, we are passionate about open source and what we can do, and this is the best way that we can scale it. So uh, I'm very confident and convicted that uh, our associates will see that as well. Hey, Jenny, I mean, this is about being number one now in this next chapter. Uh, Jenny or Jim or, or both. Um, this is Joe, actually, now, but, but are you seeing the, the, a, uh, for talent, a sort of a rush to try to outbid in, in technology land? Try, I, I imagine that really good STEM people are, are tough to come by. I, I'm not saying you're not, you guys aren't the sexiest place on the block, but uh, do you have, are you seeing, will there be wage pressures based on bringing in the best people to, to Red Hat or IBM, Jenny? Yeah, listen, this is interesting. We already get 7,000 applicants a day. Our team, 7,000 a day. Jim, highly sought after as well as an employer. And so we get the best of the best. And an acquisition like this, it is absolutely about key talent. And I, and I should have mentioned, this is all about revenue growth, not cost synergies. And I think we have no trouble, I know we don't, at 7,000 applicants a day, no trouble getting the right talent. We get the best talent in the world. And it's really because they're driven by the both, as you guys know, we've been very focused on AI, very focused on cloud, and how to bring that into the business world. And I'll say there's been significant kind of wage pressure because, yeah, there are a lot of interest around cloud and that talent uh, is not in you know, great supply. But the nice part about this is this growth in scale allows us to you know, absorb that uh, in the overall model while still delivering more profitability. So uh, this is actually a good thing to address any concerns on, on uh, uh, STEM and lack of uh, the size or scale of STEM talent available. And you guys realize we're both one of Jim's biggest locations, actually Raleigh, Boston, we're very large in both places. So together, mm -hmm. we're, uh, we are the top here. 